Hey guys, Mel right here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a three looks, one palette using the amazing Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Palette. So first we are going to start off by priming our eyes. I do the same thing for all three looks. This is the Urban Decay set or uh, Priming Potion in the shade Sin. And to start off, we're going to use Mint Tea and apply this to our crease as a transition shade, just blending upwards and outwards. And upon, upon first application, it is very lightly pigmented, but with the second, oh, it really spices up there. It's way more pigmented and really pops for a nice matte pastel shade. I can't think right now. So next we're going to use Flourishing, which is a nice matte emerald shade. This whole look is going to be an emeraldy green look. So it's not quite blue. And we're just going to apply this into our crease, just a little bit lower, creating a nice gradient. And now getting even darker, we're going to use a smaller blending brush here, a crease brush, and use the, the shade Cremated and just apply that into the crease. Again, a little lower down this time, creating a nice gradient effect. Oh, gotta go in one more time here in case you didn't see enough. And now we are going to cut the crease and I'm using a MAC paint pot in soft ochre to do this. And the brush is from Anastasia, it's their eyeliner brush and it's such a good brush. So next we're going to use the shade Entitled, which is a beautiful shimmery emerald. And we're just going to pat this on our whole lid that we have kept blank. And in pan, this shade has some micro glitter in it and it's a shame it doesn't really show up on the lid. It's still a beautiful color, but not as beautiful as I was hoping for. So we don't want to create any overlap, so I'm just going to keep the brush away from the cut crease and then I'm going to go in with a detailing brush to fill in whatever is missing color. And now the same for the bottom as we did for the top. We're gonna to start out with mint tea and then go into flourishing and then finish off the lower lid with cremated. And the brushes get smaller and smaller as you get closer to the eye. And now we are going to create a wing. So this is the matte liquid liner from NYX. It's my favorite matte liner ever. And now highlighting that inner corner, we're using Cullinan. and the lashes and mascara, and that is the final look. So moving on to look number two, we're gonna start out here with Untouchable, the pretty matte pink shade, and just same thing, blend it into our crease as our transition shade, and blending it up and out. And then to create a little bit of warmth, I'm using Priceless and applying that just over top. And now using a 
fluffy blending brush at first to apply Blue Monday into the inner, or sorry, outer corner because I want it to be a little bit more diffused. So I'm going to use this brush first and then I'm going to switch over to a dome brush. So you can see with the dome brush, it really picks up a ton of pigment. And now using I'm Cold, we're just going to use the same dome brush and apply that to the lid. And then using a little bit more Blue Monday and applying this into the crease because something was missing. So use a very nice soft hand so that it is not too intense. Make sure there's no hard lines, nice and diffused. And now we're applying some Blue Monday to the lower lid on the outer corner here, and then going in with I'm Cold and blending that out. And then Untouchable to create the gradient. And now I'm using a bit more Blue Monday on a liner brush to add some liner so that it's more smoky. And then some lashes and mascara and the inner highlight obviously we're going to use Cullinan again and that is the final look now moving on to look number three the final look this is so easy and basic but first we're going to use celebrity skin on a planning brush just applying this into our crease and blending it out And now we're using the same brush and just applying it to our lower lid so that it's nice and smoked and blended. Making sure the lower lid and the upper lid both connect. And then a little touch of untouchable over top to add some pink. And obviously calling in on the inner corner goes without saying. And then using my finger, I'm applying Crystal Flesh, which is like the prettiest bronzy, champagne-y, pinky, lilac-y, so many tones in this eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. And then I was going to do a very fine line of eyeliner, but I messed up a bit. So it's a little thicker than I was hoping for, but apply a little bit of liquid eyeliner and then your lashes and you are done. That's it, thanks for watching. Make sure to sub.